So get ready for the Ring of Fire solar eclipse on Saturday. There are a lot of venues that are inviting the public to enjoy it safely, like the Exploratorium in San Francisco. Crowd for Tiffany Justice joins us now live from San Francisco with the best ways to view this rare eclipse. Thanks for joining us. Yes, we spoke with a teacher at the Exploratorium. He says it's going to be a beautiful sight to see, but it will be important to protect your eyes. The sun is much, much larger than the moon. That's also much, much farther away. And these two things just happily balance out and lets us have eclipses. No other planets in our solar system would ha can have total eclipses or even annular eclipses. This weekend, millions of Americans will have a front row seat to a celestial show which will dim the skies very briefly over western U.S., Central and South America. On Saturday, the rare ring of fire solar eclipse will be visible, including across many areas in the Bay. So it's a pretty good spot. We won't see the complete ring here. Only places in far northern California, the path uh, just intersects just the far north of California. Um, we'll see the full ring, but we'll still see more than 80% of the sun covered up. The peak time for catching this ring of fire eclipse will be between 9 a.m. to 9.30. The anticipated ring of fire will only last about three to five minutes long, depending on your location. But the entire event will go from 9 to 11 a.m. And experts say proper eye protection is needed throughout. How important is it strongly being advised to protect your eyes if you want to watch this? I mean, if you'd like to see the next eclipse, you pretty much should protect your eyes at this one. Um, yeah, if, uh, the sun, it, as much as you don't want to ever look directly at the sun the rest of the time, you don't want to look directly at the sun in this time as well. Because the in a total eclipse, at the moment of totality, uh, the bright disk of the sun is completely covered up, and you only are seeing the much dimmer corona. But in an annular eclipse, the full brightness of the sun is available there, and that could really seriously damage your eyes. The Ring of Fire will be a prelude to April's eighth total eclipse. The Exploratorium on the Embarcadero is inviting the public out for Saturday's event. So we're inviting you to please come. Uh, we'll be starting at 9 o'clock. The most occluded part will be a little bit later on from that. Um, and we'll have safe ways to view what's happening with the sun, uh, ways for you to get an interesting feel about how the size of the moon and the size of the sun have this unlikely coincidence that they just happen to be the same si apparent size from the Earth. And the Lawrence Hall of Science is also welcoming the public out to catch this ring of fire on Saturday. Reporting live, Tiffany Justice, back to you. Tiffany, thank you so much.